Xtool have very kindly sent me their laser enclosure for the Xtool D1 Pro. As with all uh, Xtool gear, this arrived very well packaged and very well presented with very nice instructions. Here I'm just unboxing it. And it comes with everything you need, including uh, a, the fume extraction ducting with a fan. And it all just felt crows together very, very easily. I started by attaching the uh, fan and the duct connector, which was a straightforward job. And then uh, here's the ports on the side where the switch and the cables go. It's at three different heights so that when you add the extension legs on, which uh, can move the laser up and down to three different heights, the uh, switch and the ports will line up with each of those. It really was very, very simple to uh, put together, as you can see from this video. It's even got tool storage down the side there. Just attaching the lid. And there it is. Very light, very neat. Connecting the uh, ducting on there, which extends out, so I could extend that out of the window. There's the port for the air assist tube. As you can see, the switch, the power, and the uh, cable connector all line up perfectly. There you go, perfect fit as it's designed for this laser. No spare room in there. Keeps it a nice compact design. Anyway, Valentine's Day's coming up, so opening my favourite open source box software boxes pi i actually found they did a heart shaped box plan in there and you can set your parameters and whether you want it to have a lid you can then import the svg file into lightburn or into xtool creative space and then you can prepare it for the laser don't resize it because uh, it's set for whichever thickness of plywood you're going to be using. I've added some text, lovey dovey text on there, and this is three millimeter laser ply. Just lining it up in the enclosure. Yep, always wear your safety glasses when using a laser. And here I'm framing it. I love this feature on the uh, D1 Pro. The little uh, laser crosshair shows exactly the outline of um, your workpiece. Lid is held down with magnets. And then we start the burn. The safety screen is a very good idea. But we all worked very, very nicely. I'd go as far as to say that really an enclosure is an essential bit of kit for these lasers. It keeps all the laser beam enclosed so there's no risk of damaging eyes. And the fume extraction is fantastic. There it is, that's the first sheet done. It all pops out very easily. And I love these uh, designs that create flexible ply. Very, very clever. And there's the second sheet burnt, all cut. And they're quite thin, some of these pieces. Just test fitting it all together, making sure it all works. Very clever design. I just use wood glue for this. The first thing I did was put this little rim on the underside of the lid. That helps the lid locate into place. And I used these uh, 321 blocks just to line everything up. They're very useful when you're gluing up those little blocks. Keeps everything square and they make useful weights while your glue dries. I've taped everything in position and then I'm painting the inside of the joints with the wood glue. I find this is a, a nice way of doing these boxes. 
It would have been easier if I'd used a few little dots of super glue just to hold it all in place and then put the wood glue in. And then uh, a bit of chestnut products wood stain. This is spirit stain in red. And yes, I should have put gloves on. I had red fingers for about two days. I only thought about it just as I started doing the job. Remembered I hadn't put the gloves on. But I love this chestnut product spirit stain. Very useful. Then a couple of coats of my favourite polyurethane spray varnish. What can I say? I'm a big softy really. Very pleased with my love heart chocolate box. It's come out very well. All goes together very nicely. I'll leave links in the description where you can get the heart box design if you've got a laser and want to try it yourself. Yeah, I just need to get some chocolates to put in it, don't I? Anyway, very impressed with the X-Tool laser enclosure. It's purpose-built for the D1 Pro, as you can see in the video. It's got spaces for all the leads and the uh, air assist tube and everything. It's fire resistant, very lightweight, which makes a huge difference to me in my tiny workshop. I've got uh, the, my homemade, shop-made laser enclosure is very big and very heavy. And it's very difficult in my little workshop where I have to keep moving things around to make space for projects. Moving that old laser enclosure of mine is a real pain. So having one that is lightweight and folds up and can be put away is a huge asset. The X-Tool laser enclosure is a brilliant safety device. And I will uh, have a follow-up video to this because I've just received another box from X-Tool with some very clever safety kit that the uh, enclosure can be connected to to make it extra safe. But more about that in an upcoming video. It didn't arrive in time for me to put it in this video, so I'll make a follow-up video. I wanted to get this video out in time because Xtool have got some great Valentine's Day offers on at the moment, and I'll put links to those in the description. Check them out, there's some good deals going on. Anyway, be back soon with some more videos. There's a few stills of the finished product. You can see I've sanded the edges uh, so it reveals the finger joints and gets rid of the charring. But it really looks lovely, this, uh, this box. Very, very happy with that. As I said, check out the links in the description. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you haven't already done so. More rubbish coming soon.